I'm Jake Bruton, and today on The Build Show, we are at our Prairie House Aero Project. Uh, this is a house that we finished about three years ago with Steve Basic, and I wanna to talk to you about ERV and why that matters. Let's do it now. Okay, so we have this conversation about mechanical ventilation and balanced ventilation all the time. We don't have a, this is our one solution for every house. We tend to rely on our mechanical contractors to make recommendations, and then we weigh that with our past experiences. This house has been completed for about three years. This is one of the first of a few handfuls of houses that we put uh, balanced ventilation in, and in the form of an energy recovery ventilator. So this ERV is uh, from a company called Core. This is the only time we've used that brand. It was the mechanical contractor here had had good luck with it in the past. They worked with the electrician to create a actually kind of fairly complicated little setup, but we haven't had any issues with it yet either. So we don't have bath fans. We have three bathrooms and a laundry room. We have a port in every uh, bathroom and every laundry room that, uh, pulls air from the space, and then we have one that dumps into our mechanical room, which is then passive vented to the living room and the master, uh, with the idea that we're drawing air from these spaces because they're stinky, and we're putting it back into a place where we live, the living room and the master. This house only has two occupants for 99% of the time, husband and wife that live in the, in the master and then the living area. Uh, and they really don't use this end of the house much, it's here for guests. But what we did was the ERV has a timer, so it comes on a certain amount of every hour to make sure that we are getting ventilation, and it has a switch. So if you're in the bathroom and you turn the switch on uh, and the light lights up, the ERV is now on, it is drawing. Uh, Technically, it's drawing from all three of the bathrooms, not just the one that you turn the switch on. But if you come in here and the light's already on, it's running its hourly cycle. I think it's like 15 minutes an hour that it's supposed to run or something like that. Uh, and so we have the ability to communicate. And the reason that we did the light is if I'm in here and I turn the ERV on and somebody else goes into another bathroom and they turn the, the, the bath fan, the ERV on, then you both have, one of you's turned it on, one of you's turned it off because these are multi-directional switches. Uh, so the idea of putting the light on there is you know that if you turned it off and the light goes off, the thing's off. Uh, but if you turn it off and it's still on, somebody else is either using it or the uh, hourly cycle's running and you can hear it. So it tells the homeowner, hey, don't panic. Somebody else turned it on or uh, it's doing its hourly cycle and that communication was key because when the clients first moved in They said hey, uh, this thing is running even after I turn the switch off and it took a good uh, 15 or 20 minute conversation to realize that Sometimes one of them would use a bathroom down here and turn it on while they're in and the other one use a bathroom Take a shower or something at the other end of the house and turn it on and then we'd be kicking ERV on and off and negating or, or altering that 20 minutes out of every hour or whatever it is schedule. So a little bit of intuition from our electrician and we've problem solved what, you know, is just a, a, a client education conversation, I guess, is what we would call it. So think outside the box, listen to your clients when they tell you something's wrong or something's happening and talk to your clients after you turn the house over so that you make sure it's operating properly. That's the real key here, is that we've taken a conversation that we had with the clients after they moved in and still applied it to the house to make sure that the house was functioning properly. I'm Jake Bruton, thanks for watching The Build Show today. Hashtag Prairie House Arrow if you wanna see more about this house. This is the uh, slabless slab house that Steve and I did together. Uh, so there's no concrete underneath of us. You can go to Pro Tradecraft and see a seven part video series or you can search through Reisinger's videos. Uh, he also came and made a video about this house. It's a really interesting property. We're really happy with it. The clients seem to be very happy a few years in, so uh, check it out. And then don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. There's great stuff coming from the Build Show Network every week. Till next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>